Hey guys, mortgage maintenance. I decided today I'm doing a lot of drywalling. I thought I might as well show you guys how I mix hot mud. Uh, not to say this is the only way to mix hot mud. And what hot mud is, it's a, it's the five minute mud, 45 minute mud, 90 minute mud. I keep all my powder, I buy it by the bag, and then I just put it in containers of my previous drywall joint compound that I've used. I really like this dust control. Uh, if you haven't used that, I'd suggest using that. But if you use mesh tape, you're technically supposed to use the quick set mud with that. Uh, and I know a lot of people don't do that. Uh, I've done it in the past where I just get the green top mud and that's what I use for every single part of the process. Just depends on what your time frame is. But a lot of people mix this mud up a lot of different ways. I always start out by putting water in my pan. I keep water with me so that I can sit here and make my mixture, whatever it might be. And there's no specific mixture that you're going for. There's no, you know, certain parts by certain parts. I think they say maybe three to one, but it all depends on what you're doing with it. Sometimes you want it a little more runny. Sometimes you want it a little bit uh, stiffer. And what I'd use is uh, just your regular old beater that you put into your kitchen appliance. I keep one of those and I put that in my drill. And I use my drill as opposed to that actual appliance because the speed on that is entirely too fast. You end up splashing everywhere and making a mess. And then I just slowly add powder into my pan and mix it at the same time until I get the consistency that I want. making a pretty big batch here. This is 90 minute. Now I got plenty of time to use up a big batch. You wouldn't want to mix up this much, you know, if you're using 45 or especially five. The five method, you might just want to use your knife and just mix up very small amounts. Once I get it to kind of the consistency that I want, of course, I'm going to come back and push all this on the edge into the mud and fold that in with a knife. I take my beater, put it in my bucket of water, clean that off. It's ready for the next one. And then you take your knife, go down the edges and get this loose powder into your mud and kind of mix that in. Again, this is kind of the consistency that I'm going for on this batch, but you can mix it up stiffer or runnier, depending upon what it is you're doing, whether you're taping or whether you're putting another coat on. But I think that to me, that's just the easiest way uh, to get a good mix. You can mix this by hand. You can sit here and just do it with your knife over and over, spin it around, do whatever if you want to, if you don't have one of these laying around. But I think this is the most efficient way to mix up this quick set mud, whether it be 90 minute or 45 minutes. So hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments below how do you mix your quick set mud whenever you uh, use it. But uh, maybe you do something different. Maybe you do something better. I'd be interested to know that. But hope you guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video.